Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 10th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. In this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing square roots. So there's still a few more topics we need to cover before we jump right into the algebra, and square roots is one of them. I want to make sure you have all these basic concepts down before we start doing algebra. So we're going to go ahead and cover this real quick here. So for a square root, we have a radical sign. And underneath the radical sign, we have some number that we call the radicand. And we say that the square root of a is equal to some number, we'll just call it b. And what that means is that means that our answer b, if we were to square it, is going to give us a. So for example, if we have the square root of 4, well, we can say that the square root of 4 equals 2, and the reason why is because 2 raised to the second power is equal to 4. So another example, if we have the square root of 9, we can say that equals 3. And the reason why is because 3 squared brings us back to 9. So what happens if we don't have something that's quite as neat as this? What if we had the square root of 3? Well, the square root of 3 doesn't turn out to be a nice number. So I went ahead and uh, plugged this in on my calculator. And the square root of 3 is approximately equal to 1.732508. And it keeps on going. <clears throat> And this little squiggly equal sign basically means that it's almost equal to, but not quite. So it's kind of a little bit of an estimation. So my calculator says that this is what the square root of 3 is. So what that means is if we were to take that number, 1.732050808, and we were to square it or multiply it by itself, we should get the answer three back. So if you were to actually plug in this number into your calculator and square it, you'll probably get a number that's really close to three but not quite, and that's because the calculator just estimates this number. So it's going to give you a really close answer, but uh, it's not an exact answer. And so you'll get something like 2.99999, or you might get something like 3.0000, a whole bunch of zeros and maybe a one at the end. But uh, you'll get something really close to 3 because this is an estimation of your calculator. But basically that's what a square root does. Is It basically says if the square root of 4 is equal to 2, then that means that you can take that 2 and square it and get the 4 back. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.